Alrighty hosses, welcome back to another video and in this tutorial we're going to start learning about SQ Light. And by the way, I just watched the movie Gone Girl. It's a pretty decent movie and also if anyone has any really good movies that they would recommend, looking for like a good sci-fi movie, my favorite ones of all time are Contact and there's this movie called Surrogates. It's a really good movie. I would recommend it. So what are we talking about? SQ Light. So what this is, is a way to save information on your phone. So if you ever had like a computer game and you wanted to save the high scores, or maybe you're making like a checklist app and you wanted the user to be able to turn off their phone then turn back on and have all that stuff saved, saved for them, well then this is a tutorial for you. So before you get started, forewarning, you do need to know SQL or at least the basics of it. If you don't, then go watch my tutorial. Um, it's called My SQL Databases. If you go to my website, click Video and Tutorials, My SQL Databases, and it'll teach you the basics of SQL. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. What I did in this video is I made a brand new project, Blank Activity. We just got those two default files right now. And I'm going to drink some Gate or Powerade, actually flavor is that lemon lime not bad all right so let's go ahead and delete this text view and again this example is just going to be for creating a really basic database it's actually just a file that you can save stuff to so I'm just gonna have somewhere that the user can type something in and they can either add it to the file or delete it from the file and whenever we turn off the app and turn it back on it's all gonna be saved for you so pretty simple example so let's go ahead and get started so again the first thing is just a plain text drag that somewhere in the top middle and that's really tiny right now so change the width to like 300 dp and change the ID of this as well and I'll just put like Bucky's input so this is where the user is going to be typing stuff in and let's add two buttons right there and let's add another one right there so this first one is going to be if they want to add something to the file then they're going to type it in and click this button so let's change the text on it so they know what's going on we'll say add simple enough and let's give it an ID of add button yes now on click what do you want what method do you want to call add button click so this method is where we're going to be writing our functionality to actually add whatever they typed in to the database file so we can save it so that looks pretty good now let's do the same for this button so let's change the text first just change it to delete so whenever they click this it's gonna delete one of those items we'll say that this is I don't know just storing different items whatever they type in and on click we'll just write like um, delete button clicked and for the ID of this of course we'll just name it delete button so again what I want to do is we can just make an example that can save all your data in the background and typically that's what you want to do however just so we can see what's going on in real time I'm going to drag a large text in the drop middle of the screen right there and I'm going to change the ID of this to Bucky's text so again all of the contents of the file are going to display in real time right here so whenever we add it's going to display in real time as soon as we delete something you get, you're going to see it visually being deleted now of course you would only want to do this whenever they like finish the game or whenever they add a new item to their checklist but for this example it'll work out just fine 